All right, so I'm over here with two guys who are building a cello out of cardboard. So this is pretty impressive, guys. This is like uh, well, well designed, it looks fantastic. So tell me a little bit about the process you guys went through in trying to build this. What are some of the challenges you faced? How did you overcome them? What comes to mind? How we started to build this was, well, I came up with the idea building a job. I own a job. Oh, okay. So, on, we had one car built Sure. On Monday, we just planned. On Tuesday, we made that healthy shape there. Okay. And that was it. So how did you figure out like the measurements? Because it looks like a real cello. Okay, so you guys almost in a sense sort of created a virtual cello on paper and then you came and replicated it in cardboard? That's pretty cool. That's really awesome. Well, so what are some of the challenges you guys face? Like, was there any one thing that, you know, that was really hard to do that you realized, uh. This is evil right here. <laughs> this is evil. This neck piece right here. Right? So it's the neck piece underneath. So that was, and why was that so hard to do? not know. It just wouldn't stay on. Oh, so it's been hard to sort of get the thing to stay on? Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So the idea is to make it a bit more secured. So if you were to give a piece of advice to other kids building stuff out of cardboard, what, what, would, you, what would you say to them? I would probably say measurements are really important that you get all the same, all the same size. Ah, great, great piece of advice. Great piece of advice. What about you? Uh, you really need to be patient. Oh, I think that's an important piece of advice. And actually, you're not the first person to say that. So it's really clear that you've got to have the patience to build out of cardboard. But very awesome, guys. Fantastic job. Thank you.